Hey everyone, it's Clint. Welcome to Sweetcast. I should have made a video about this days ago. I don't know why I just didn't do it. I just didn't. So here I am. I'm going to make a video about the Joe Rogan podcast. And they actually mentioned your boy Zach. So we're going to talk about that uh, and some of my thoughts on some of the specifics. Before we get into that, I want to remind you that this new story is going to be coming out as soon as Downcast 2 is finished and fulfilled and shipped and in the backer's hands. This is going to be launching. This is called Fatal. These are just a couple sample pieces for you to see. Uh, so great. Charlie Snogans is, I think, my favorite artist, and I'm so lucky to be working with him. So if you haven't signed up for my mailing list, that's the best place to go. Sign up in the link in the description below, and that'll give you special, uh, what, what do we call them, special offers, and you'll know exactly when it's launching. All right, so this was on the Joe Rogan podcast. Uh, I actually have no idea who this guy is. Did not watch the entire thing. Had been meaning to, didn't. But this clip was interesting, and I have a few points that I want to make about it because uh, it's kind of interesting over time how things evolve and uh, change a little bit. And I don't know. Let, we'll get into this first, and I'll, I'll give you some of my comments. There's a guy, I think maybe you were going to have him on, but I like him. He's a guy on YouTube that reviews comic books that he fucking got. It's crazy what they did to him. Oh, I've, I've heard the story. I've okay. heard the story. What is it called? Something Comics? What is it? Uh, uh, it was, uh, it's called, uh, it's called, um, <laughs> I don't know. His Christ. name's your boy, Zach. I, I, I forget. Everyone has trouble <laughs> with the name change. I just got to say, everybody has trouble. I wish he would just change it back to diversity in comics. What is his, uh, his like comics a, matters with your boy Zach is in the chat. Um, and so what happened with him? What was the story? They made him into like some kind of dude's crazy, made him some kind of Nazi. I mean, he's the most reasonable. The reviews are so utterly reasonable. Okay. Where, and, and by the way, guy gives credit to people when they're, he thinks they're good. Like, there's nothing, if you actually looked at what he said, there's nothing there at all. Okay. I'm going to expound on this a little bit as well. Okay. I feel like, People are missing the mark. <laughs> I've seen so many copycat channels uh, on what your boy Zach has done with his YouTube channel, what he did with his YouTube channel, what he's doing now, uh, the whole progression. I've seen so many people copying it. And to some degree, I guess you could say I kind of copy it. That, I mean, I, I don't do reviews specifically because it just feels like I would be copying <laughs> so many people that do better ones. Uh, okay, so he's a reasonable guy. And he gives credit where credit is due. Those are two things that I want to point out. I think so many people think that the formula was, the formula for his success was that he made people mad at him. That's all he had to do. Make the industry mad at you. Find some way to do it. Therefore, you'll get a reaction. And therefore, you're going to sell comics. And you'll start your own publishing company. And you'll, you'll be an Indiegogo mogul. You're just going to be amazing. Uh, that's not true. If it was true, this would have been happening. It would, his success would have been duplicated over and over and over again. That is not true. The truth is he was reasonable and most people, most normal people that listen to his reviews said, yeah, this guy is kind of reasonable. He's speaking the truth. Second thing is that he'd give credit where credit is due. That's important because that gives him credibility. If you are perpetually upset for the sake of being upset because you feel like you need to be upset in order to sell books, I'm not really speaking to anybody in particular here, but if you think that that's the formula, you're wrong. That's not how it works. That's not why he was successful. It's because he told the truth in a reasonable way that most normal people would understand. And two, he would also give credit where credit was due. He had credibility because he did that. Let's continue. But because he mocks like the dumb shit they do in comics now, they made him. They're like he's a white nationalist. Well, they're doing. He, he has weird, a lawsuit because they did that to him. Injecting social justice warrior credos into comic books now, right? Well, there's a little power. There's a little fiefdom of like Portland weirdos that I guess run <laughs> comics now. I didn't know this. Fiefdom of Portland weirdos is the best Dude, description. Oh, besides blame the Daily Show, I blame Portlandia for the other half of problems. <laughs> just so you know. Before you guys fucking. Okay. All right. Uh, sorry about the language there. I didn't realize that. 
popped up. Uh, okay, so yes, then there's there's the opposition. All right, so um, the the thing is that there's there's always going to be the cabal or fiefdom of Portland weirdos, so to speak, in comics. And if you disagree, uh, they're going to be upset with you. The wrong approach is to say, hey, somebody says that that I'm a white nationalist or that uh, like I'm a bad person. Therefore, I'm going to be a bad person and fulfill their their prophecy. <laughs> right. Is this a little off topic or a little left field? I don't know. This is the kind of I get so many copycat YouTube channels, not just YouTube channels, Twitter accounts, all sorts of things pop up. And I feel like you're missing the mark. If, if that's your, your idea and your concept of what makes success, you're missing the mark. It's not about uh, like just shock value and trying to get people upset, specifically trying to get people upset. Uh, no, I'm not going to pretend to know what was going on in you boy Zach's mindset and what his initial intentions are were. But I can tell you, based off of my observations, I think he's sincere in his criticisms. And I think most people can see that when you're not sincere in your criticisms, people can see that. Uh, and, and so I keep seeing this thing, this phenomenon that shows up in indie comics where, uh, okay, all we have to do is just pick an enemy. It doesn't matter who, you know? And so it gets, it gets fractured into such small subsections of groups, uh, that it, it's laughable. Like we're mad at this particular small indie comics creator. And therefore we're going to create a community based around it. And then you'll have a break off from that community. We're a even smaller community that has a beef with this other person. And so we're going to make a whole thing off of this and try to sell books based off of it. It doesn't work. Okay. Uh, so, okay. The, the reason why this was successful, I think my story is probably illustrative to many other people's. I heard about this lawsuit on the Joe Rogan show, which by the way, I'm not here. I'm not even mentioned. I'm addressing the content of, of uh, what was being said on the Joe Rogan podcast, but not addressing the fact that this is really cool that Joe Rogan is actually talking about it. Uh, that's great. And it's only because comics is such a small industry that this hasn't, it doesn't really percolate to the surface very often. Uh, so anyway, this is great to see this happening. Uh, b besides that, uh, my story, I think, is illustrative of many others, and that is I heard about this lawsuit. I heard that Mark Wade, famous comic book writer, a writer who, you know, I've read lots of his stuff. I've got books of his on the shelf. I, I don't even care to open them anymore. I, it, it's like I don't know what to do with them. It's weird. Uh, but, you know, famous, com famous comic book artist is getting sued. My immediate reaction is, why is he getting sued? That's too bad. I like his writing. I was never on Twitter. I have no idea what his politics are. I, you know, I could assume what his politics are, but I kind of just, you know, don't care really that that's how it's always been for me. I don't care. Uh, then I look into it. And the reason why I was with your boy, Zach is because he was reasonable and he told the truth. I think I gave those two points in, in different orders. Reasonable. He told the truth and he gave credit where credit was due. Those are the reasons why I followed him. Uh, it, it, it had nothing to do with the fact that, oh, he's making the right people mad. I don't think that, that most people think that way. I don't think that normal people think that way. Uh, so if you want to sell your book in indie comics, it, the fundamentals have been the same ever since crowdfunding began. Uh, social media marketing is always the same. It, it there's no new kind of special sauce formula. It's always been the same. You just have to talk to enough people and uh, get them to know, like, and trust you. The best way to get them to know, like, and trust you is to be reasonable and to be honest. That's the best way. It really is. Now, if you see a bunch of people getting mad and you think, this is what's going on. This is what is so amazing about Comicsgate is that they're just a bunch of bad people. So all you have to do is make people mad. So I'm going to create another community and make people mad. And then therefore I'm going to sell my comic book. It does not work like that. 
that that's not organic it, and you could you could go anywhere and put in the effort and the work to building some kind of a following and you wouldn't need uh i mean no one needs to be angry to to believe that that's part of it i think is silly and it is going to lead you down a you know path that'll just waste your time frankly and probably be more stress than it's worth all right so i, I, I hope this made sense <laughs> um Joe Rogan podcast. I really hope that Joe Rogan has your boy Zach on his show. I hope he extends the invitation again, or I don't know how the specifics worked out. I really hope that they get on the show because it's such a long form podcast. And Joe Rogan does a really good job of, you know, get really getting into the details and letting his uh, guests be very comfortable. Um, I've always enjoyed watching his podcast because of that, but I have a new respect for it now that I do, you know, I do live streaming. Sometimes I do regular videos and I realize how difficult it is to get people to really open up and be comfortable and to trust you. That is something magic, uh, that I just, I will never understand. Uh, but it's fascinating to watch. So I think that would be an amazing platform and amazing format for somebody to get on and be reasonable. Uh, so again, I want to say that if, you know, the best thing that you can do then, okay, here's what it comes down to. I get people telling me about branding and how do you grow the network? I already did this video about what I think the network versus the community versus platforms are. And yes, I'm right. Uh, uh, so I'm just going to go with that one. Uh, but if you want to market and have a brand around that network. Uh, I think it's important then if it's important to you, it's important to think about how like when people are searching, when they're searching Comicsgate or when they're searching to to find you and your platform, it's going to be important uh, that you're putting stuff out there that you want people to see that's going to be reasonable, that's going to make them know, like, and trust you and not evidence to the contrary. You wouldn't want to put evidence out there that shows oh, well, maybe they really are a, a, a Nazi-ist whatever. Uh, I, I see too much of the, this reactionary thing where, well, if you're going to call me a bad person, I'm going to be a bad person. Couldn't I have the right to do it? Uh, that, that's It's silly. It's stupid. And in fact, that's exactly, that's why, like in politics and running for politics, that's why Trump was so good at this. But he would call the other person names and he would define them. Okay, then you have an audience of people subconsciously that are looking for that definition to be validated. And so every time, you, you saw this in the Republican primaries, every time Trump labeled something, somebody something, and then they did something to confirm that, they were done. They were destroyed. They tried to fight back by taking a low road, or, or so they seemed to, to think. It's just a bad idea. What you want is you want people to see contrary evidence. And it's not hard. Reasonably, people are going to look it up now. They saw it on the Joe Rogan prod podcast. They're going to look up Comics Matter with your boy Zach. And they're going to see what he says. And they're going to find out, oh, he really is reasonable. He's he's not a, a Nazi. He's not attacking women, uh, minorities, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, he said some, some things that I would find off color or, or a bad. Oh, he actually apologized for those things. Apologies are sometimes a good idea. Uh, if he hadn't apologized for some of the things that he said, I'm not sure where I would have landed. Uh, but the fact that he was, you know, he was very focused on doing the right thing, at least it seemed to me at face value. Um, you know, I wanted to support him. Okay, so total rant. Uh, I don't even know what to title this mess of a video, but I just have been thinking about a lot of these things and uh, wanted to get it off my chest. I hope this makes sense. Um, don't think too into the other thing is that when I do these kind of rants, I know that there are people that'll try to apply it to something that they've seen happening. Um, please don't do that. I don't, you know, I haven't really been following current drama so much and it's actually been quite nice i've been focusing more on my own youtube channel and focusing less on twitter and i've got lots of stuff to do i'm trying to get my book finished and uh 
get downcast to out. So I've got a lot of things on my plate. So don't, you know, don't read into this too much. Uh, these are just some thoughts and I keep seeing this. It's more of a pattern that I have seen uh, that has been accelerating over time, especially over the past probably six months, six to eight months. And I think it's a bad idea. I think you look back at the root, you look back at the root of what was going on. And if you are telling the truth and you're being reasonable, you're giving credit where credit is due. That is what wins people over. And if you want to make comics, you got have to win people over. That's just part of the game. All right. So thanks very much. I hope you uh, at least were able to understand what I was saying. And here is Fatal, just some artwork from Fatal. Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to have some more to show, uh, I don't know, relatively soon. We'll have some more. Eric Weathers, I know, has got a logo in the works. Looks great. And uh, yeah, I'll be getting this out to you soon. So don't forget to back down, cast, and join the mailing list for Fatal and you will be doing well. So thanks very much, and I'll see you next time.